Hello there and welcome back to Smog and Tridesmo 4. Today we're continuing on with Let's Play. This is episode 9. In today's episode, we're taking on the front engine rear drive challenge. And for the first time in this Let's Play, I'm not going to buy a used car because there's nothing that really interests me. Instead, we are going to use a prize car that we earned. We earned the Mazda RX-8 Concept Car Type 2. And we're going to use it because it comes in RX-8 yellow, which is better than every other yellow on the planet. So there it's we go. shade. That's a bold claim, man. It, 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 it's RX-8 yellow. You can't lie to RX-8 yellow. Anyways, of course what if we're it's not... RX-7 yellow? Yeah. When did this game come out? 2004 Five. in Japan and 2005 in the thing. Anyways, we're going to Seattle because that's where all RX-8s are destined to end up. You're straight piped. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> I like the way rotary yeah, engines yeah. sound when idling because it sounds like they're constantly going to like just break down and stall. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are. Well, yeah. Yeah, apex seals. So, how's your apex seals, with R LRC? Pretty good. Thanks for. Do you know what the worst bit is? What? I was about to call you RAC. <laughs> which, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, you may need. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. Listen, he's got an RX-7. We're all jealous of it. Let's be honest. We, we are. Those yes. RX-7s is one I like. RX-7s. Weirdo's one jealous I like. of him. Well, yeah. Uh, Weirdo is very jealous. He may even be sexually aroused by it. Look at my mm. mighty RX-8 concept RX car. I just realized something about the RX-8 concept car. What? what? Holy shit, those fender flares. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> they're, the, they're the RX-8 Fender Flares. The Concept 2 is yeah, very, very close to the production car, if not exactly oh, like it. Oh, the real one has those as well? I thought it was just this yeah. one. Huh. Oh, hey. Like, if it was the Concept 1, it'd be a different story. This car has more oh, yeah. power than the Daihatsu move I drove recently. Oh, hey, there's an actual RX-8 here. <laughs> Let's compare. This is weird dick size. Yeah, he does have Which the one same... No. He does have the same <laughs> flares I do. He likes it flared. Just a tip, the, mind you. All the slap trains. What do you think? We are past the slap trains. I will give them some credit. The rotary does kind sound kind of like a rotary. I, I think Forza has more better oh, sounds. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. Hey, Salati, <laughs> how you doing? Isn't that the, actually no? Never mind. Boost, you do realize what I was going to say, don't you? No, no idea. Uh, it's a slatey. I'm assuming that's the thing that you think for this, right? What? Yeah, I. Th uh, actually, oh, is it? I. I'd it, imagine it's so. The thing with those two lesbians from Initial D drove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't speak about that, Joe. Eight six is more plot armor than. <sighs> Fuck off. No one cares about your shitty little show about your shitty little fucking tofu. Oh no, I, I absolutely hate it. It's a terrible. The lead show. character should have drove a 1992 Toyota's Corolla Auto. Because it's a better <laughs> car than your shitty fucking A86, which you like. I don't like this car because it's got a good power to weight ratio. No, you like it because of a cartoon. <laughs> Easy there, Mr. Regular. <laughs> Easy there, Brian. I was trying not to say that line. Oh. Well, I mean, he calls Sorry. himself Brian in like every single episode he's doing at the moment. So. Yeah, that is true. He just he he just he's open about his real name now. He's I'm trying to remember the name of and his Roman's occupation. name. His name is yeah. Roman. I, I, uh, no, his name's Nick Roman. Actually, his name yeah. is Roman. He's the Roman. Wait, he's o wait, wait. Regular is open about his occupation now. Yeah, he spoke about it on one of the RCR podcasts. He was a teacher. No, oh what? no, he, I knew he was a teacher then. Like, now he's mostly just video producer and Lyft driver. I think it's because, I think the reason he's very open about it is because he sort of knows at this point there's no way he's going back to that sort of life again. Yeah, with like barely minimum wage and, uh... Like he's like, never going back to teaching. Gums. Well, it's yeah. more than just that, it's that people already know who he is because of all of the work he's done for, uh, Road and Track Magazine, Jalopnik, and oh my, physics, oh, oh my... Right. <laughs> Here's the thing. If that was his, a segue. The thing is, if his channel implodes tomorrow, <laughs> he's going to be fine. 
Like, with all the I friends mean, he's made in the industry and everything, I'm sure he's going to be just fine if it happened. So he definitely doesn't need to go Patri back to... the Patreons he's got, or exactly. the patrons he's got, or whatever. I mean, just look exactly. at fucking classic game room. <laughs> he's not doing YouTube anymore, him? and I think he's just fine right now. I, like really I think he's doing him. Amazon because he wasn't fine, like, he wasn't getting paid from YouTube Oh, anymore. he's doing that? Is he definitely doing Amazon? I thought that was just a rumor. No, he's doing Amazon straight video now. Like, his stuff is on Amazon video for Amazon Prime subscribers only. Oh, excellent. I should check that out at some point. Pardon me. I, I liked Classic Game Room. The problem is he he plays a lot of obscure Classic Games because I do Classic Game Room. Um, so, you know, like, I don't know. I can't... I, I find interest in a lot of the things he does, but, like, yeah. I remember I just watching... the fact that he kept bringing up El Camino's. Fucking hell. Yeah, the Gran Turismo 6 review where he just yeah. spent the entire time reviewing the El Camino. Yeah. Really? He okay, I need to see that one. Yeah, yeah he drove oh, his oh. El Camino in. Yeah, he drove his uh, he drove his El Camino into the fucking thing. But then that was, that was gonna be a struggle. Yeah. I think he drove a he's done a few like car videos. I mean he drove a Ferrari five seven five for a video at some point. That I th I remember some of those car videos and he's uh, and he's done steering wheel hardware as well. Sakuba! Which, you wouldn't expect that from him, but I really like the fact that he went out of his way to <coughs> take a look at just racing game gear. Yeah. Yeah, he drove a, was it 550 or 575? I think he did a video on a Nissan Leaf as well at some point. Of all the cars in the world. A Leaf. Anyways, in case you're wondering, if you, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you saw the license test. Of course, this was a prize car from the license test. Uh, if you don't, if you're terrible at license tests, and I think you only need to get like all silvers in B license for this one. Um, if you're utterly terrible and useless at doing it, you can probably get away with using a used RX-7, putting a couple of upgrades in it, and it'll probably do just fine in this event. This event shouldn't realistically cause you that much issue. Admitted- Get out of my fucking way! <laughs> Good advice! I mean, as somebody I, who's I... recently played the game and has actually purchased the old RX-7, I can say that you don't even really need to modify it if you're able to get your hands on a later model turbo. Because oh, that thing's kind of overpowered. Which one's the Slightly. turbo? The GTX? Um, the Infini? Should- Yeah, I do believe Savannah. Is the designation you're looking for? But the point is, is that Ooh, 215 horsepower <gasps> right out of the box. That was terrifying. Is... But yeah. If your first car is a uh, two-wheel drive R32, you can easily do this with just nitrous. Yeah, there's a lot of cars sort of sub-10 grand that you can do this with straight away, <laughs> off the bat. So, LRC just reminded me of something. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but LRC, but freaking straight out of the box reminded me of boxes, and now I have a question for you. When do you use the Toyota BB? What? Yes. Exactly. Isn't Scion in this game? I don't think so. Whether it's the, whether it's the Scion XB or Toyota BB, I want to see you in a box. Live in a <laughs> box. Either that or a Volvo 242 Estate. Friends. Oh, he's definitely using that. It's in a box. That's one of the songs in this game. What, your dick's in, in a box? No, it's, it's a song called Live in a Box. Hey look, speaking of late model RX8, uh, RX-7s... It's a con... Nah, it's not a convertible. No, that's Kinda an... Kinda like a convertible. Finny, I think? I'm trying to read the plate. Yeah. Would've been hilarious if that was a Mark III Supra. Oh god. I <laughs> I oh yeah, that's I another car. I almost can use bought those. one of those, but it was on my I kind of wanted list for a while. Oh, it's got the offset hood scoop. I think that's an Infini. A long minute. Yeah, that's an Infini, Speaking. definitely. I just know it's the wisest point. Really is. I literally wrote down all the cards that I really want, and the and the total ended up being almost fifty three. I got a hundred and one on my old iPod as a list, and that include that included like Citroen Saxo VTS and a Peugeot 106 Rally and a Peugeot 106 GTI, and um, just random shit. Do you want to hear some of them? Um, 
Yeah, just bear in mind I've got to talk through a few bits, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested. What's your dream free car garage? That's... Dream for Oh, there you go. Dream free car garage. There you go. Okay, dream three. 63 Beetle. I know in the meal. I know in the meal hates it. Oh, you, you. Oh, do you actually like the Beetle? I really do. It's because of Herbie. That's why. Alright, interesting. 63 Dodge Charger for the General League. Mm hmm. And I think the set the 1917 REO pickup truck probably because of Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> I mean, can't blame you. They're Fair all enough. solid enough. Right, just let me get through the thing because I've got to announce the fact that we have made money. Well, I'm not profit. Fifty. So you're gonna pay we... for my involvement on being on this Damn. freaking let's play? We've yeah, actually. Gotta... I want a cut of that. Money. Shit, hold on. The fuck you. I just realised we're actually making a profit from this car. <laughs> Because this car was free! <laughs> gotta spend money on upgrades now to counteract it. Yeah, I've gotta put like a massive nitrous oxide system in it, which costs like more than we get from the event. Cough cake, I'll cut. Special Zage Route 5! Well, my Explorer is valued at $4,000 and I wanna get a, a block in it. So, so basically, it's just Chevy Power in the Ford, so why the fuck not? <laughs> Did you see that regular car reviews video where like they were walking around that car show and someone put a was it like a Ford Windsor engine in a Outback or something? Oh yes, the massive V8 under the hood of the Outback, and they made all the other electrics work. And Reg was just like, "Why?" <laughs> I don't remember that one actually. Yeah, I can't remember what I the saw, video was called, but I saw one where he's going through <laughs> wheels, of, wheels through time or wheels in time or something like that. Winga dinga dinga dinga, winga dinga dinga dinga. And something in the description says someone actually put fake, fake patina on a car. Yeah, that happens. Also, by the way, just thought I'd point out, this race is special for one reason. What? what? It's what? the first time we see the 75,000 credit BMW Z4. Hmm. Because for some reason, it costs 75,000 credits. And see. Also, <laughs> all the Nissans. We've got a slap train, we've got a box train, and we've got the don't ever get your hands on one please train car. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... How much, did it, how much did that Z4 cost in this game? Is that 75 grand. 75 grand? Let's see how much it costs in Forza. It costs like 32 grand in Forza, and that's for like the M Coupe over like the 3 litre I. I think the thing is though, Forza pricing seems to be based on dollars. I'm assuming this is just, well, it's not based on Japanese yen because that's what the Japanese version of the game have, where like every car costs like four million credits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in this game they just chop off the last three zeros. Yeah. Wait, what year is the Z4 in this game? Uh, it was when the Z3 had been out for like two years. I think it's an O3. This is 2011 Z4 S Drive 3 feet. Th yeah, yeah, yeah that thing. How much is that? Z4 credits in Forza. Interesting. Grand in the yeah, Xbox. Trismo. In the Green. In the X5M. Ah. The X5M SUV is 89,000 credits. Nice. Yeah, the BMWs are very expensive in this game. I think the M3 is like 74 grand, right? And the CSL is like 130. You know, like the CSL's like the worst car in the world. Yeah, but it has a boot made of cardboard, so you know, it's all good. But, you can't use it on a wet day. Yeah, but it's got cardboard, so it's all good. <laughs> Every car's boot floor's made of cardboard, it's just most of them don't admit it. They just put carpet on it, it's like, oh, well, it's not carpet. Unless it's a Honda Accord wagon, in which case they make it out of plastic. Because black and plastic, black and plastic, black and plastic. So, uh, everyone else's dream free car garage? Um. Uh. uh Civic Type R. What year? 2016. The new one. Newish one. The one before. I don't know actually, because I think it's a daily driver, the newer one's better, but I prefer the way the 2016 looks. 2016 Civic Type R. Uh, do I want 
<laughs> do I want an Ajira? I do want an Ajira. Yeah, that costs a lot, though. Well, yeah, Indian. but it's a dream carriage. It doesn't matter about cost. I'd have an Ajira. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll have an Ajira. And... Now I need to decide between... An Aston Martin Vanquish, which I love dearly. The new one. Or a Viper. I like the Viper a lot as well. The ACR? Yes, the brand new, yeah. or the newer ACR. Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't be able to choose between those two. Yeah. My top five cars, like, literally just swap between those things and, like, the Focus STs up there as well. Boost! Hold on, Boost. Yeah? Can I play a game with you? Oh boy, what? If I can guess what your dream free car garage is, you owe yeah. me five quid. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Master yeah. Raceway Laguna Seca. Right. No. That's a car now? Excuse me. Right. Are you ready? <laughs> it's the Mazda Typhoon yeah. Lagoon. Here, here, it is indeed. Here's your <laughs> here's your free car garage. Peugeot 106 Rally. Toyota Motor yes. AW11 Supercharged. Nissan Skyline R34. V-Spec uh, oh, yeah, 2 Nur. Okay, no, just ignore about being like really nerdy about the thing. Yeah, R34 and 106. Actually, I sort of forgot about the AW11 and was thinking of an E90 M3. Oh yeah, I forgot you'll hop for BMWs hey. because... You're weird. Between the two now. Why does that R32 in front of me look like- Oh my god, there's a BMW M Coupe in this race! Hmm? I'm actually slightly scared of that car because that has a lot of power. Cause that's... I think I'm kind of funny if they put the Mercedes A-Class, like the first gen A-Class in here. I know, it's great. It's been in every Gran Turismo game as well, apart from sport. Because you can't have fun in GT Sport, it's physically not allowed. No, I'm just saying because like if you take a corner too, sh if you take a corner too short, then it just end up flipping over like it did in the moose test. Yeah, good old moose test. Yeah. Piece six of tenths of a second away. Yes. Hey, LLC. Yes. Dream free car garage go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. FBRX7, FCRX7, <laughs> FDRX7. <laughs> okay. FCRX7. Okay. Fuck off, all of you. Okay. <laughs> car number one. Mm, it's it's a tie progress. between the F-355 or the NSX. I want Ooh. one of those two. Okay. Which I'll one? Say. It doesn't matter. If it's an NSX, it has to be a, Manual. an earlier one with midnight pearl coloring and the color matched roof. <laughs> and if it's an F-355, it has to be hardtop, has to be the six-speed manual with the physical, actual gearbox. Bright red, exterior, black interior. There we go. One of the either one of those two, I I have no idea which one of those two I actually want. Second one, I want an absolutely pristine, whatever the hell the green color was, E.G. Hatch Civic. E.G. Just, is that the nineties? That that, really that was the one that Ludo had that he pinned. Okay, I'm I assuming want, I want a, I want a pristine one of Sorry, those, and then for the fun car, uh, I'll take. Uh, I, I'm torn because I want something that I can just use as like a track toy. So, eh, could be an FD, could be an FC, really, just... I don't know. Does it need to be rotary? Nope, doesn't need to be. It could very well just be a 240SX with an LS thrown under the hood. I kinda want an LS... Oh, I want an LS VW Beetle. <laughs> Those exist. Yeah, no. People know, love putting flat want. four Subaru engines in those, though, and that's a pretty good idea. Why did car mods put a flat six Subaru engine in it, didn't they? That would have been an SVX motor, right? I don't know, but I knew it was fun. I don't know why you'd put an F SVX motor in it, considering like it makes less power than a WRX motor. But... It could have been uh, like true a story. Car. I once found a Subaru Legacy wagon that was built for drifting that had an SVX 3.3 liter flat six in it. Was it turbo? Nope. How the fuck? I have no idea. I was about to they say those things like were only auto. For it. I was about to say those things were only auto, but then I remembered the UK actually got manuals. No, they, they literally they just hacked up the legacy and just oh mm. here's the engine now you're gonna go I sideways think you showed me and that it's gonna one, be a legacy back. Because it yes. was rear drive as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it's like mm -hmm. they only want two grand for this. I should buy it. It would be the stupidest thing I've ever done. Or put a flathead V8 in it. <laughs> or put a flathead V8 in the Volkswagen Beetle. 
<laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, you can have an engine with camshafts, like... Someone put a world. fucking um, LS engine in a Porsche 911 Turbo, like a 7 litre yeah. one. That was interesting. Yeah, 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 I saw that. It was in South Carolina, too. Nice. <laughs> because that's literally the only place where that would be acceptable. Actually, hell, speaking of bizarre engine swaps, there I found this Lotus Esprit, like an early Esprit with the SHO V6 stuffed in the back. Oh. That thing looked like it would have been fun. That's it sounded really good too. That's very that's an odd swap to I was the Esprit on for the Esprit was kinda of related to Ford's, I think. Mm, Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Mm. But it, it's made me curious as to what the hell needs to happen in order for that to go into an a spree. Because that seems like it would be a lot of fun. Motorland! It was too big to fit up front. Some alcohol. It was too big to fit up front. Yes, lots of alcohol. That is probably what goes into that swap. <laughs> How about... Lots and lots of cocaine. And I had some leftovers so that made it run on the 85. How about a mid-engined rotary? Uh, Mercedes tried that. Oh, that... I know that there's a Lotus Europa with the uh, NA20B rolling yes. around Japan somewhere. Ooh, that's a good idea, See, actually. I've seen the... Do you know what wasn't a good idea? What? The Lexus SC300 in front of us. Fuck you. <laughs> there's a Lexus LS400 or something with the V8, like, standard or something like that. It sounds oh, pretty good. the SC400. But yeah, the... Uh, LS400. Yeah, Mercedes back in like the eighties made a. Uh, it's that W something, isn't it? Eleven. Yeah, I think it's in Mercedes World Racing. Yeah. Because every uh, other Mercedes cool. that's ever existed is in that game. Uh, guys, I kind of had to run off for a moment. It was rather sudden. What did I miss? Uh, uh Dream Three Car Garage. Yeah. What would you own? Uh, Go. no, no, no. I don't do well under pressure. Fuck that. Well, you've gone until the end of Motorland to think of something. Okay, I'll have until I'll wait until the end of. I'll answer you at the end of the Gran Turismo Six LP. How does that sound? Ha! Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play those games. You're kind of screwed, then, aren't you? God. The problem is, at I would kind of play GT. Not getting an answer out of me. I would kind of play GT Six. The problem is, I'd have to go through GT Five, and I'm. I, I would definitely only do an A spec playthrough. I would not do B spec. I, I think you've missed the point of what I'm trying to say entirely. Anyways, I'll answer you. Uh, right. Okay. Angel is Puerto Rican, so what this do you want? This is gonna go so well. His A rotary power toy. No, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. His perfect free car garage is a Kia Rio, a lawn mower, <laughs> and a meth factory. <laughs> And a what? <laughs> and a meth factory. <laughs> meth factory. So, so some kind of uh, 1980s motorhome that's been gutted. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not denying it. No. no well, I'm. I'm just kind of like stunned. No, he's stunned by the lawnmower part. Stunned by the lawnmower. Part. Oh, no, it's gonna be the fastest lawnmower, lawnmower on the planet. And also, fuck you, I don't want any of those. What? You don't <laughs> want a Kia Rio? You've got a Kia Rio. Answered quicker than I wanted a car. I wanted a car. I got a car. If it was my dream car garage, it would not be there. I know you mm -hmm. want a GS three hundred. Okay. Well, yeah, GS three hundred Toyota Aristo, but I don't think that's dream car material. That's more like future project car material. Now, dream car would be like a WRX STI, which is you know kind of obvious. All right, there's one. Another one would be, all right, fine. There's one. The second would be well. It's me, so it's gonna be a Pagani Zonda, because I love those things to death. Excellent, that's two. Yeah, but which one? The problem is I need to think of an answer for number three. And I don't know what the answer Volkswagen is gonna be. No, it's not gonna be a Volkswagen Beetle, it's gonna be some side of, some sort of I don't know, some sort of classy sedan. The American kind of fuckboat from the crew. <laughs> Toyota Chaser! Toyota Chaser! I've already got enough Japan. No, you don't. Ford Taurus Show. There you go. Yeah. Mm, Anyways, no. that's the end of Motorland. Thanks for playing. That was by far and away the worst lap I did of Motorland, but never mind. That's the end of the front wheel drive. Uh, re uh, the front wheel drive rear engine cup. Yes. 
The front engined rear drive cup, uh, basically known as the Nissan fuck party for most of this, let's be honest, <laughs> because there's a lot of fucking Nissans in this. Because Nissan! Before they made the Duke, mm. remember when Nissan was respectable? They were respectable? Yes. Speaking yeah. of Nissans, if this is exactly what I think it's going to be, because it's the prize car for every single front engined rear wheel drive challenge in the history of Gran Turismo. Oh, mm. no, it's not! Huh. Oh, Skyline. Yeah, that's what it oh, is. Cool. Oh, cool! Wow, I completely forgot about that. I was expecting Salati. I will take it. Don't worry, the Salati will come later. I know. <laughs> that disappointment in your voice, that's great. <sighs> It'll come later, I oh, know. Well... My, my girlfriend says the same thing, but she never does. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there it is. 123 brake horsepower. Nice. Wow! It's not even worth four. selling. Inline six, most likely because the first generation 1968 Skyline GDR. Holy crap! Three percent. Yes, that is the first generation. Hey. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at another championship from around the beginner events league. Join us for that. Until then, farewell. Farewell. What? Farewell. 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 Nice. <laughs> Saved it. Farewell. Mm -hmm.